Very interesting. Okay. You're watching Local Bias on GCTV, and if you're just joining us, my first guest is Meg Baker, and she's a local Greenfield resident, mm -hmm. and she writes role-playing games mm -hmm. and plays them. I do, lots. And <laughs> is a big uh, advocate yeah. of this. Mm -hmm. We've just been talking about some of the benefits and um, some games, some of the things that you can, you can get out there and play. Um, so there, there seems you've been naming some people who kind of live locally. Locally, mm -hmm. uh, anymore. Well, yes, Julia. Well, yes. Now that you ask, yeah. Um, can I out you? No, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, who else could I mention? Uh, Emily Care Boss, uh -huh. who has written a series of games about human er interactions, mm -hmm. which was a huge new uh, space for role playing games to go because the idea of acting out you know, how do these two people get along is really getting to a whole other step of, you know, it's not the created fiction, it's uh -huh. let's look at human interaction and putting ourselves in different people's shoes, uh -huh. like how do we get along? So she's written a series of games and she lives in Plainfield. Uh -huh. um, Vincent and I live in Greenfield. Joshua, who you'll speak with later, mm -hmm. lives in um, Florence. Who else? There's half a dozen other people in the area who I don't know as well because okay. I only see them at cons. Yeah. But in terms of Massachusetts, you know, there's lots of people who live in Boston who write games. Mm -hmm. there's, it's a local scene and it's a local scene in many different cities, which I think is fascinating. Yeah. You know, that's, we, I mean, very common contact with groups of people in New York City and in Chicago area and mm -hmm. in the Seattle area and you know, some poor lonely people in Iowa <laughs> and things like that. So it's, it's widespread. Mm -hmm. um, it, there's a widespread local movement of independent role-playing designers. Okay. Um, and something else that fascinates me always is that so many people have experienced role-playing games. If you talk to anyone in our age who's in their 30s or early 40s yeah. and say, hey, did you ever play that role-playing game stuff? They're like, oh yeah, back in high school or yeah. everybody, everybody knows. It's just some of us who continue and continue to um, push the envelope and invent and try and figure out what more we can do with this media. Mm -hmm. So there are little communities of people mm -hmm. sitting around and playing and then oh, yeah. you look at the, the wider angle and you've got people all over the place mm -hmm. doing this. So mm -hmm. it starts up grassroots and then moves all over the yes. place. Okay, you can sort of out me now. Okay. This is a topic near and dear to my heart, but yes. yeah, I wrote one too. Yes, you wrote one too. I'm very excited about it. I'm almost more excited about it than my own projects, because I am working on two new games. Okay, well tell me about this first. Uh, tell me, okay. <laughs> I'm working on a game um, called Miss Schiffer's School for Young Ladies of Quality, uh -huh. um, in which you play uh, women in a finishing school in the 1890s, mm -hmm. um, which was a very structured time for women, mm -hmm. very confined time for women. And what I'm working on in this game is ways where we could explore out of that. You know, within, within a very tight structure, where is the freedom to do scientific research and exploration and things like that. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I'm working on. And then I'm working on another one called Intertwined, about, that's another for two players, personal relationship things. That's mm -hmm. to the side. So well, that actually brings me to another topic, oh, and then okay. we'll go back. Then we'll go back to <laughs> yeah. it. Okay. Um, so, my impression, and I think a lot of people's impression, is this is a, a, a um, it, this is something that is really dominated by men. Mm -hmm. um, so, what is your experience with that? Oh, that's a great and question. Is there a difference between a you know, what what, a, what women play and what? Then play. I have always, in 30 years, I've always played in mixed groups. Mm -hmm. um, there's always been women, well, started out boys and girls, uh -huh. but there's always been people of both genders in my role-playing groups. Okay. Um, I don't know how unique that is, but I have personally, you know, when I think of role-playing game designers and mm -hmm. players, there's tons of women out there. It is the perception the perception is that it's a male-dominated hobby and mm -hmm. that it's you know, certain types of people that do this. You know, there's a whole bunch of myths about it. Um, yeah, it still is mostly male-dominated. Mm -hmm. But if you look in the independent scene, there's a very, very clear female presence, which I appreciate being part of. 
Oh, good. Okay. Um, so now, where can you get these if you if want you get to. these if yeah. you want them, um, which you know why would you not? Uh, right. Greenfield Games carries um, several local okay. gamers on Main Street, mm -hmm. on Main Street in Greenfield, mm -hmm. and they're great. And they've always been very supportive of the local gaming scene. We've often had game days there where we go in and play our games, so you can test them out mm -hmm. different times. Sure. Okay. Yeah, we're very. That's great. We love that. You, we lo they're games. We like playing them. Right. So having people come and say, "What's this about?" And we're all over that. Um, Modern Myths in Northampton also carries a lot of local games, and then there's mm -hmm. places in Boston, um, and there's websites which I'm sure you'll get to later. Um, yeah, that's where you can get them locally. Okay. Um, and where can people find your game? Oh, my game, uh, Thousand One Nights, uh, is online well it's at greenfield games first off okay and also it's online at www.fairgame-rpg.com and then okay. you have to click through emily's games are there too okay um, emily who did emily boss okay. who did um shooting the moon and breaking the ice and a couple others that she's done okay do you want to go back to your game or no? um we'll talk about mine when we okay do what the, the, the big con coming up okay cool so excellent we'll talk about that with Joshua. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. So if you're watching Local Bias on GCTV, and we'll be back in a second, and we're going to do a quick switcheroo, and we'll have Joshua A.C. Newman talking a little bit more about role-playing games and about self-publishing.